horny. Everyone has their own experience with sex and also has their own experience with work. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, is a comedian always waking up being like, I'm going to be funny? No, sometimes it is a job and then mm -hmm. sometimes it's fun. Yeah. Now, I started off just doing gangbangs at random parties for people That's to wild. just jack off to because that was fun for me. It's a hell of a way to start. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. not for for money. That was not for camera. That was just because I'm just a terminally horny chick. Okay. Then I went into OnlyFans where I just made stuff I wanted to make. Mm -hmm. So now I actually have enough. I'm privileged enough to have a, make a living doing exactly what I want to do, which just happens to be porn. Now, mm -hmm. let's say to I, after this podcast, I tell the guy right after this, hey, I don't want to shoot then we just don't shoot. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I think the cool thing that I'm not sure what Lana Rhodes experience was like, cause I'm not really a mainstream girl, but the cool thing with OnlyFans and a lot of independent creators is that we have a, we have less, we, we, we have more of a choice. There is no, less pressure to please everybody. There's not like 15 people on set tonight that are, it's me and one guy and then a hotel room that I booked. Like I could just do something else. Right. You know, yeah. we have as an independent creator, it's a lot easier. Like it's, the, the, the dynamic is different. I just, we just do what we want. You know, no one's yeah. putting a gun into my head. I'm not yeah. contracted. I have no agent. I have no management. Yeah. So well, when people have unfortunate experiences, with, I don't, I can't really relate because I've only done what I wanted to do and profited off of that. I'm going no, crazy. <laughs> I also think it's just so extremely irresponsible when a person who is associated with sex and has become literally a sexual icon like her and dare I say it Mia Khalifa mm -hmm. and they turned Trevor. her back on an industry that is so severely misunderstood mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know if you like of course there are people who are survival sex workers there are people who do not want to be in the industry but the reality is that's everyone in every career mm -hmm. that is everyone in every career this is the most empowering job I've ever had because it is my choice ultimately mm -hmm. at the end of the day versus when I was a fry cook versus when I worked at an office job. Mm -hmm. Those fit were things where I was giving my time, body and energy to something I did not want to do versus yeah. now where I do exactly what I want to do. I don't feel like every time we talk about porn, we have to rationalize our humanity, yeah. but we have to because people like that come to our industry and they make waves and they're super successful and their lives are completely changed. They're able to live in a nice penthouse and they mm -hmm. forget what the, the little that. guy, Yeah, you know? <laughs> and it's like, I vow to never, I hate anyone that hates whores. It's whore for <laughs> whore for whore for whore for yeah. whore. Forever. Everybody like, love everybody. Yeah. Shout out to e <laughs> 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 <laughs>